What's up guys? So I decided I'm gonna try reviewing. And in order I figured the easiest thing to do, the best thing to do would be to explain what I've got and what I don't got and what I can review and what I can't review. So I'm making this video. So first off, this is my shelf and it's about five percent of my overall collection because about 95% of it is mint in box and in storage. As you can see there's plenty of boxes lying around. So the only things I'm going to review are things that I have open on my shelf. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick tour of my shelf. So right up top, you got the Matrix box set of G1, you know, the complete series. And my stupid Halo 3 helmet that everybody in the world has. And uh, Super Mario All-Stars, which I didn't open because the Wii sucks. And it's just, it's just a Super, uh, Super Nintendo port. Coming down to the first shelf, we have Laser Optimus. Uh, reveal the shield with the Battle Tanker upgrade. And we got little perfect effect ejector rewind. They call them ejector and rewinder. Really dumb, but whatever. He turns into a gun instead of a um, cassette. But they're pretty cool. Classic side swipe, because I don't have room for them on the classic shelf right now. The totally awesome Fans Project Steel Core, who I think might be the first review. Um, in the back, you can't really see too well. But that is Takara Primus with the little uh, rubber, plasticky rubber, uh, this guy, Unicron, back in the movie. Then we have the totally awesome City Commander with the perfect effect. I forgot they're called the Sun and the Moon or something upgrades. Those can also be booster rockets or swords. I think they call them a sword, so I did that. And he's holding the TFCon 2012 exclusive Perfect Effect, Perfect Effect 10 PE10X uh, Rat Bat, who turns into a lance, a rat, bat, uh, rat bat as a bat, and a jet. I think he looks awesome as a lance. Uh, I'm gonna give him to us the Decepticon at some point, but right now, uh, Magnus has him. That's the other uh, eject and rewind dude. Um, right now, I just have him as dudes, obviously. But, eh, they can be guns too. There is MP11 Starscream, Coronation Starscream. Do not have uh, Thundercracker yet, but I will find him eventually. So, next we got our leaders. We got the US Primus. Sorry about the lack of light. Uh, maybe I can screw it over here. Oh my god. Get some more light. Should have thought of that before. All right. Maybe you can see. Maybe you can see Primus a little better back there. That is the U.S. release of Primus, who's also totally awesome. He's holding it in a drawing cube, of which I have more. Um, down here we got the best toys. Yeah, BTS best toys. This is uh, Rumble with Ratbat. They combine together into that thing. And then we got. Perfect Effect RC, who is the Motobot, I think. But uh, there's two of them. There's a pink one and a blue one. I got the pink one because it looks like RC. Uh, there's a blue one for the more modern RC, if you want like a prime version of her. And then there's another one coming out to be like Tarantulas, because he has spider legs. Might get that. We'll see. And we got Nightmore for Cyclops, a.k.a. Hearts of Steel Shockwave. It's really cool. And he comes with this little sub dude that turns it to him. And we got the mighty Hercules, aka Devastator. Don't ask me to review him because everyone's done it a million times. And I don't want to take him apart. But he has the Yin and Yang Best Toys uh, Worker Series Chinese workers who are colored in the same way as Devastator. So they're doing work for Devastator. And he's carrying an drunk cube. This is more of the best toys. There's a Frenzy and Ravage. That's how they combine. Kind of stupid, but whatever. Then we have Masterpiece 5. Uh, Megatron. I think he's Masterpiece 5. Um, I got him holding, I got him with the Energon, I don't know, Mace. He's also got this sword that he used to kill Prime with. He's holding it with his other hand. Pretty crappy figure. Because he's got chicken legs and he's 
horrible to transform. But he's the only one we got right now. So behind them we got Armada Unicron. I also have Energon Unicron and Amazon. The Amazon exclusive really big Mamma Jamma. Um, but I don't have them over here. I have Energon on the other side of the room and uh, Amazon's in the box. Coming down we got G1. A little bit of G2. You got Perceptor back there. Grotesque. Bunch of mini bots. Throttle bots. Uh, Ironhide and Ratchet are reissues. Uh, that's my original quick switch. The Rekgar. Uh, Hose Head, who is complete and absolutely mint. Uh, Galvatron, who I had to squat down because he's too tall. Starscream, the Sectacons. Big thanks to Random One on Instagram for them. Totally awesome. Uh, my original reflectors over there. I need the lens cap. The only part I'm missing that I can't find. It's somewhere in the basement. I'll find it eventually. Uh, dead mint. Pretty dead mint. Megatron. Uh, Thundercracker is back there. Hunger. Uh, Skywarp. Blitzwing. Uh, Astro Train. A couple little G2 guys back in there. Gotta reorganize this shelf because the I like to put the big guys in the back and the little guys in the front. I gotta fix that. Uh, classic shelf. That is a Power Master Optimus and that is G1 Six Shot. Neither of which are classics. I know this. It's just I needed the room. I need to make more room on the shelf for them. So they had to fit over there. Got Autobots on the left. Got Bumblebee. This is third party Sea Spray and third party uh, Power Glide. Uh, I picked up a G1 Power Glide at TFCon because mine broke when I was a kid. And I love Power Glide. Don't know why, it's always did. Although I don't have Classics Power Glide. But those are third party. Uh, for the most part, the rest are Hasbro. But I mean, why do I have Bludgeon? Why, why do I have Bludgeon with the Autobots? I don't know why. That's kind of silly. But he's got the Head Robots upgrade. He's really cool. Uh, Perceptor, he's got upgrades. Hound has upgrades. Uh, Jazz, Prowl, Sunstreaker. Um, Jetwing, really cool. Cyclonus, probably my favorite mold out of all of these. He's really, really cool. Tracks in the corner. Uh, Galvatron, he sucks. Crappy mold. Uh, the awesome Fans Project Insecticons with the repro label upgrades. Makes them a thousand times cooler. Uh, Ravage that came with Hound. Also upgrades. Also cool. Seekers. Lots of Seekers. I have the other Seekers mint in box, so they're all the same mold though. This shelf is just total random crap. Energon, Scorpionok in the back. Uh, Cybertron Evac, Classics, Astro Train, Botcon Spinister, uh, Tankor, TFCon 2012, Exclusive Shafter, who is based off a Rector, who I also have from a kid. It's an Action Master set back there from a kid. Uh, TFCon 2012, Garrison, upgrade to Hose head, so I bought a second one that was just the body. Uh, some Shattered Glass stuff. Shattered Glass Optimus. Can't really see it's a little bit dark. But Classic Grimlock. Sucks as a robot, so he's a dinosaur. Just mm, mostly random stuff. Couldn't fit anywhere else. Uh, bottom shelf is just books, Blu rays, and a couple random figures. Couldn't fit anywhere else. So, yeah, that's it. If you see anything you like, or you want me to review, where's my G1? Oh, my G1 spinners in the back. Oh, way back there. I have to reorganize this because he's a Decepticon and he's on the Autobot side. This whole thing's got to be reorganized. Just don't feel like doing it. So, yeah, like I said, eventually I get a house, more room for toys. And I'll open everything and review everything. So yeah, if you see anything you want me to review, except for him, because I'm not transforming him ever again if I don't have to. And I'd prefer not to do Hercules just because everyone's done it a thousand times and I don't want to take them apart and put them back together right now. But I will if enough people bother me. But pretty much everything else is up for grabs. So here's another quick sweep. Classes Optimus, of course. Oh, I also have 
Didn't point him out. He's in the back that you can't really see because there's not enough light, but I have Hegemon, who's the third party uh, Megatron, G1 Megatron. Also very cool. Kind of crappy mold, but very cool figure. So yeah. Oh, and the Junkions. This is one of them. There's three of them. Those are shattered glass, which everybody loves to hate. But yeah, I have to reorganize like some of the top stuff. I want to put more masterpiece up here. But that's the quick look. If you see anything you like, you want me to review, hit me up. I will try to do it. Got pretty much everything I need to get ready so to, to do it. So let me know. Take it easy, guys.